So I just marked my territory and just admiring this. I don't even know what day it is. I know it's a couple or a few days after Veterans Day, November 2002. I'd like to get to the point where I never need to carry a watch, a phone, or look at a calendar because it really doesn't matter. All that matters is that you wake up in the morning and you go to sleep at night, stargaze at night, and know that whatever you did in the day, you were satisfied. This is really beautiful here. I've never seen it. Well, I've seen various stages of beauty here. This is a, another stage that I have not seen. And that's when all these, I think they're called Mexican wildflowers or uh, sunflowers are all in bloom. And I'm very, very happy that Marbolina came running to visit me and share is sharing this with me right now. I can definitely see her spending a lot of time with me here once we start construction. And I had not seen, my mom actually mentioned the other day, um, monarch butterflies. And yet there's, there's a few monarchs here I'm witnessing. But this is really beautiful. And so I hope to be a good steward of this land and to keep it in its natural beauty and use the materials that are here already and the, uh, the known construction methods and techniques to build a home. And I will spend time here. And uh, I'll become part of this community. You know, I th I've been thinking about it for a while. Look at all this beautiful stone here. These, I mean, these are all going to be part of the the foundation and the, and the stone wall. Look at those beautiful stones. They're beautiful. You know, a lot of them will stay here already, but I'll probably contract soon somebody to come out here. Well, first of all, they got to measure it. So we need to measure it properly. But this right here, this space right here is pretty much the space where the house will be right, right in there is what I'm envisioning somewhere like that. And it won't be a big home. It'll be a tiny home. But it'll have a big heart. Think about that. Big home with a tiny, uh, a tiny home with a big heart. And the butterflies and the birds will always be welcome here. The lizards, even the scorpions and the tarantulas will be welcome here. And of course, Marbolina will be welcome here. Look at her. She's so sweet. I'm so happy that she remembered me. I'm so happy that I gave her love when she needed it. You know, because she grew up by herself with the cows. I mean, she didn't really grow up by herself. She had cows and she had cats and pigs. But she spent a lot of time alone. So she's a reflection of how I spend my time alone also. And that's okay. Because loners, just because we spend time alone and we appreciate solitude doesn't mean that we're, we don't love back. We love a different way. And we appreciate a different way. We love quiet. We love peace. We learn to be by ourselves for various reasons. And the people that can appreciate that in us, those are our tribe. They understand the quietness. I can hear all those butterfly wings right now flapping. Let's move in a little closer. A lot of people dream of places like this. Maybe I dreamt of a place like this. I didn't dream of having all the neighbors that are going to be behind me. But you know what? This will be what I'm looking at. Marbolina. Hey, good girl. Hey, good girl. What do you think? Hey, good girl. You want me as a neighbor? Yes, you do. You're always welcome here, good girl. Good girl. She's so beautiful. Look at her. 